Morning guys, this is Running Trucker Daily Vlog and this is officially going to be the first run outside. It's 20 degrees outside and uh, we're going to try to do three miles outside not stopping. So here we go. two and a half miles in here but this is what the some of the trail looks like so it's all open fields you have a little breezy across here this is a bridge that we call well my wife calls it snake bridge I'll have to get her on here to explain that to you but it'll kind of bite you in the toes so all right, peace, one more mile. Hey everyone, um, well, I had uh, my first official run outside. Um, it was beautiful, um, a little chilly, but uh, it was the wind more than anything. It was actually only, it was like 21 degrees, so the temperature wasn't too bad, but the wind was in the open fields where I was running was, uh, I thought for some reason there was more trees in there, but apparently not. Um, but then it gets into like a commercial area where it's in just an open area of fields. So a lot of the trails were drifted over. Um, so uh, I have to probably find a different spot to run, but I just like that trail system. I used it a lot for, for training. Um, because I could make different loops out of it. I could run a, a three mile, a four mile, five mile, all depending on which way I went. And uh, today I did run, I ran three, three point two or 3.3 .3 miles, so a 5K. Um, I had to stop cold times just because there was snow and then I had to walk through that because it was just way too deep. Uh, and uh, I'm not that strong enough to pick my legs up over the stone and just try to run through it. So I tried a couple times, but then there was ice underneath and I was slipping and sliding around, so that wasn't good either. I don't need to uh, twist an ankle or anything like that. Um, but uh, yeah, it went good. Um, it was, I was, uh, I, I, had, I was surprised. Um, I had a little bit of a couple twinges which I uh, found out <laughs> when uh, halfway through the run uh, my one phone I had two phones on me one to record a video on and one that was I was just using for music and running my map my run and uh, that one died about uh, mile one um, I don't know or it did froze more than, I think it froze um, shut off when I got back to the truck it was it still had like uh, 40 45 percent battery life but uh, and then uh, I switched my audio my music over to my other phone because I had the same music tracks on those so and I started running with just music and that one died at mile two and then uh, I had I had lost all my music so actually last mile I had to do a what they call is a naked run without any audio um, no music just listen to your listen to nature and listen to your thoughts which I shouldn't do because I then you just I don't know I need a distraction especially when I'm running otherwise I felt every you know I'm concentrated on my knee pain and then I'm concentrating on my upper calf muscle pain and then my ankle pain and I'm like oh you know I just need something kind of a distraction but uh, we still I still powered through it got it done and uh, it was a good run um, I think I'm developing a little bit of a, a cold um, my wife's sick right now so according to the way her cold is going I'm gonna probably be down for the count tomorrow which I'm glad I didn't run today because uh, I'm sure I'm not gonna be able to get a run in tomorrow so but uh, a couple things we are I, I am on week one 
just completed that. Um, so as far as weight loss, I started out at 232, and uh, I'm down to 227. So I I lost five pounds this week, which is you know just it's not. I, I always lose at least that, if not more, in the first week. Um, just by cutting junk out of my diet. You know, I haven't, up here in Wisconsin, we have quick trips with Kay, and uh, they're, they're just my go-to. That's where I get my fuel for my trucks and stuff like that. So I, that's where I, I, I'll stop there and grab some junk to eat while I'm driving. And uh, I started just, you know, paying for the fuel outside and not going inside the inside the building at all and uh, that's that's been a big help I haven't uh, haven't stopped there to eat at all or grabbed any food there every, all the food that I I, uh, I ate this week I brought from home so um, I just made sure I had enough to sustain a day's worth of, you know of sustain a whole entire day of, of food needs I made sure I had that with me and uh, it worked out good had no problem, haven't been overeating at uh, um, meals at, at night, um, kind of cutting them portions in half, you know, I'm like, well, I used to eat this, well, I cut it in half, and I'll eat that, and it's definitely helped, so, um, yeah, just discipline, I gotta continue to be, to discipline myself, um, and uh, not fall into bad habits, I'm like, oh, I'll take a, you know, just trying to talk myself into, well, you can take a rest day this day, well, yeah, and then the next day is a rest day, and then a rest day, and then, um, I gotta try to do something every day, and, uh, not have, you know, and if I'm gonna have a cheat day during the week, still cheat healthy, you know, you can still, you know, find, find a good food that you like, you know, that, that's, uh, and use that as your cheat meal. Don't just go out and like order or order a complete big pizza and eat that and shove it, you know, and shove that down your throat because that's, you know, that's not a, a really good idea either. Um, you can have, uh, you can still have your cheat meal without having to to really blow your diet. Um, but uh, other than that. Uh, it was a good week, and I uh, hope the uh, second week here, if uh, I don't get a cold too bad, will be just as good. But uh, if anything, I'm going to just still kind of maintain that diet. Um, just watch that calorie intake and keep that low. So, and uh, keep it in, in where I need to I, every day this week on my, my uh, Lose It app. Um, certain amount of calories I'm allowing myself um, 1800 calories and uh, I'm coming in below that every every day so um, I want to try to keep close to that but you know you don't want to just cut all the calories out of your diet you know keep but uh, you know you, you still want to uh, you still don't want to starve yourself but you don't want to just overeat and uh, so I think I'm right around 16, 15, 1600 calories a day, and I can, I'm not like lifting weights every day, so it's, I can sustain on, on that without uh, your feeling that I'm not getting the nutrition I need. Um, I did, uh, earlier in the week, I did lift weights. Um, I pulled a muscle in my, in, uh, bicep muscle here and then a couple muscles in my arm. They, I had knots in here like crazy. One thing that's nice is my wife, she's a massage therapist so um, and she specializes a lot in, in uh, sports medicine and things like that so I don't know, it got too unbearable. I'm not really a fan of massages but uh, it got where I couldn't even lift my arm and uh, she found a couple knots and she worked them out and then, you know, I had full rotation the next day in my arm, so, 
Um, it's good to have massage therapists on staff. I don't know if <laughs> that's a viable for, or applicable for most people, but uh, I'm lucky that I do have that. Um, so, uh, other than that, um, it's uh, been a great week. Uh, thank you for sticking around, and uh, well, have a blessed weekend, and uh, we'll talk to you later. God bless. Bye.